What is milling process? The milling process is a machining technique used in manufacturing to remove material from a workpiece using rotary cutters. It involves using a milling machine and a cutting tool to shape and create slots, holes, and complex shapes in various materials. The process utilizes a rotating cutter that moves along multiple axes to remove material from the workpiece. It is a versatile method that allows for precise and efficient manufacturing of components in industries like automotive, aerospace, and electronics. Negative Effects of Milling Process The milling process can have several negative effects on the environment, including 1. Energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions 2. Air pollution from dust and airborne pollutants 3. Water pollution from wastewater containing harmful chemicals 4. Noise pollution from the operation of milling machines 5. Generation of waste materials that can contribute to environmental contamination 6. Depletion of natural resources used in the milling process 7. Alteration of landscapes and negative impacts on biodiversity to minimize these effects, it is important to adopt environmentally friendly practices such as energy-efficient technologies, proper waste management, and sustainable resource usage. Sustainability in Miling Process Sustainability in manufacturing processes refers to using methods and technologies that minimize negative environmental impacts while maintaining economic viability and social responsibility. Here are some ways that manufacturing processes can become more sustainable. To reduce energy consumption in the milling process in manufacturing, follow these key strategies. 1. Choose energy-efficient milling machines with advanced motor technologies. 2. Optimize the milling process by analyzing parameters like cutting parameters, tool selection, and feed rates. 3. Use high-quality cutting tools with advanced materials and coatings for better heat dissipation. 4. Ensure proper lubrication of cutting tools and machines to reduce friction and heat generation. 5. Select materials that require less energy to mill, whenever possible. 6. Minimize waste through precise measurements, effective workholding, and optimized fixturing. 7. Install energy management systems to monitor and control energy consumption. 8. Conduct regular maintenance to keep machines operating efficiently. 9. Provide employee training on energy-efficient techniques and promote awareness. Implementing these strategies will lead to reduced energy consumption, cost savings, and a more sustainable manufacturing process. There are several types of renewable energy that can be used in the milling process to reduce reliance on fossil fuels and mitigate environmental impact. Some of these renewable energy sources include 1. Solar energy. Solar power can be harnessed through photovoltaic, PV, panels or solar thermal systems. PV panels convert sunlight directly into electricity, which can be used to power milling equipment. Solar thermal systems use the sun's heat to generate steam, which can drive turbines for mechanical milling processes. 2. Wind energy. Wind turbines can generate electricity by harnessing the kinetic energy of the wind. Wind power can be integrated into milling operations to provide a sustainable source of energy. 3. Biomass energy. Biomass, such as wood chips, agricultural residues, or dedicated energy crops, can be converted into heat or electricity through processes like combustion, gasification, or anaerobic digestion. This renewable energy source can be used to power milling equipment. 4. Hydropower If a milling facility is located near a river or a water source with sufficient flow, hydropower can be harnessed. Turbines driven by flowing water can generate electricity, which can be used for milling operations. 5. A geothermal energy. In regions with geothermal resources, heat from the Earth's crust can be used to generate electricity or provide direct heat for milling processes. Geothermal power plants utilize steam or hot water reservoirs beneath the surface. It's worth noting that the feasibility of utilizing specific renewable energy sources for milling operations depends on factors such as the geographical location, available resources, and energy requirements of the milling facility.
A combination of renewable energy sources and energy efficiency measures can help reduce the environmental impact of the milling process. To implement waste reduction strategies in the milling process, 1. Efficient inventory management prevents overstocking and reduces material waste. 2. Process optimization minimizes material loss and improves efficiency. 3. Recycling and reuse programs should be established for materials like metal shavings and scrap materials. 4. Proper waste segregation ensures different types of waste are disposed of correctly. 5. Training and awareness raise employee consciousness about waste reduction. 6. Collaboration with suppliers can lead to innovative solutions and a more sustainable supply chain. 7. Continuous improvement and innovation ensure ongoing waste reduction efforts. By applying these strategies, milling operations can minimize waste, reduce environmental impact, and potentially achieve cost savings. Implementing green chemistry principles in the milling process can help minimize the environmental impact and promote sustainability. Here are some steps to consider. 1. Use safer chemicals. Choose chemicals that have lower toxicity, are less hazardous to human health, and have reduced environmental impacts. Replace harmful chemicals with safer alternatives whenever possible. 2. Reduce chemical use. Minimize the amount of chemicals used in the milling process by optimizing formulations and processes. Consider alternative methods or technologies that require fewer or no chemicals. 3. Energy-efficient processes. Optimize milling processes to reduce energy consumption. This can include adjusting milling parameters, utilizing efficient equipment, and implementing energy management strategies. 4. Solvent selection. Choose environmentally friendly solvents, such as water-based or bio-based solvents, over hazardous organic solvents. Minimize the use of solvents or find alternative methods that eliminate the need for solvents altogether. 5. Waste reduction and recycling. Implement strategies to minimize waste generation, such as designing processes that generate less waste or byproduct. Explore opportunities for recycling or reusing waste materials generated during the milling process. 6. Life Cycle Assessment Conduct a life cycle assessment of the milling process to evaluate its environmental impact from raw material acquisition to end-of-life disposal. Use the assessment results to identify areas for improvement and implement more sustainable practices. 7. Continuous Improvement Foster a culture of continuous improvement by regularly reviewing and evaluating the milling process. Encourage employees to provide input and suggestions for greener alternatives or process modifications. 8. Collaboration and education. Collaborate with suppliers, researchers, and industry organizations to stay updated on green chemistry advancements and share best practices. Educate employees about green chemistry principles and provide training to promote their understanding and implementation. By incorporating these green chemistry principles into the milling process, it is possible to reduce environmental harm, enhance resource efficiency, and promote sustainable practices in the industry. Next, sustainable materials. There are several sustainable materials that can be used in the milling process as alternatives to traditional materials. Some examples include 1. Recycled metals. Using recycled metals, such as recycled steel or aluminum, reduces the demand for virgin materials and lowers energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions associated with metal extraction and production. 2. Sustainable timber. Choosing sustainably sourced timber or wood products, certified by organizations like the Forest Stewardship Council FSC, ensures responsible forestry practices and promotes the conservation of forests. 3. Bio-based materials. Utilizing bio-based materials, such as bioplastics or biocomposites, derived from renewable resources like agricultural waste or plant-based polymers, can help reduce reliance on fossil fuel-based plastics and decrease carbon footprint. 4. Natural fibers. Incorporating natural fibers like hemp, flax, or bamboo into composite materials provides sustainable alternatives to synthetic fibers. These fibers are renewable, biodegradable, and have lower environmental impacts during production. 
5. Recycled Plastic Composites Composite materials made from recycled plastics, such as recycled polyethylene or polypropylene, offer a sustainable solution by diverting plastic waste from landfills and reducing the need for virgin plastics. 6. Ceramic Composites Ceramic composites, which combine ceramics with other materials, can be a sustainable choice due to ceramics' durability, thermal resistance, and low environmental impact during production. 7. Sustainable coatings. Opting for eco-friendly and low VOC, volatile organic compounds, coatings reduces air pollution and minimizes the release of harmful chemicals into the environment. It's important to note that the choice of materials should consider factors such as the specific milling application, performance requirements, and availability of sustainable alternatives. Additionally, assessing the life cycle impacts of these materials, including their sourcing, production, use, and disposal, is crucial to ensure overall sustainability in the milling process. In the milling process, key design considerations are also important including 1. Tooling design for efficient cutting and extended tool life. 2. Workpiece design to minimize waste and optimize machining time. 3. Fixture and work holding design for stability and accuracy. 4. Machine design that balances rigidity, accuracy, and cutting capabilities. 5. Optimization of cutting parameters for maximum efficiency and surface finish. 6. Effective cooling and lubrication systems to enhance cutting performance. 7. Dust and chip management for a clean work environment and operator safety. Considering these design aspects leads to improved efficiency, reduced waste, extended tool life, and high-quality finished products in milling operations. Other than that, investing in employee training also a crucial aspect for a sustainable milling process involving 1. Training on sustainable practices, green chemistry, and the importance of sustainability. 2. Education on efficient machine operation to maximize energy efficiency. 3. Instruction on waste management, recycling, and proper handling of materials. 4. Health and safety training to ensure a safe working environment. 5. Training in problem-solving techniques and fostering a culture of continuous improvement. 6. Encouraging communication and collaboration for knowledge sharing. 7. Compliance training to ensure adherence to environmental regulations. By providing this training, milling operations can develop a skilled workforce that implements sustainable practices, identifies improvement opportunities, and promotes environmentally friendly processes. The next steps involving to conduct a life cycle assessment for the milling process typically includes 1. Goal and scope definition. Clearly define the purpose of the assessment, the system boundaries, and the functional unit, example, per unit of milled product. 2. Inventory analysis. Identify and quantify the inputs, example, raw materials, energy, and outputs, example, emissions, waste, associated with each stage of the milling process, including material extraction, processing, transportation, milling operations, and product distribution. 3. Impact assessment. Assess the environmental impacts of the identified inputs and outputs by applying impact categories such as greenhouse gas emissions, energy consumption, water usage, air pollution, waste generation, and others. This step involves evaluating the potential environmental effects based on scientific models and data. 4. Interpretation. Analyze and interpret the results of the impact assessment to identify the significant environmental hotspots and areas for improvement within the milling process. This information can be used to prioritize sustainability initiatives and guide decision-making. 5. Improvement measures. Based on the findings from the assessment, implement measures to reduce the identified environmental impacts. This may include optimizing energy efficiency, reducing waste generation, implementing recycling programs, sourcing sustainable materials, or adopting cleaner production technologies. By conducting a life cycle assessment in the milling process, companies gain insights into the environmental impacts associated with their operations. This information can guide sustainable decision-making, promote eco-friendly practices, and help achieve overall environmental sustainability in the milling industry.
The last one is recyclability. Recyclability in the milling process refers to the ability to recover and reuse materials or components generated during milling operations. It involves designing milling processes and selecting materials in a way that facilitates efficient recycling and reduces waste. Recyclability in the milling process can be achieved through various approaches. 1. Material Selection – Choosing materials that are recyclable or have high recycling potential. For example, using metals or plastics that are easily recyclable and have established recycling infrastructure. 2. Separation and Sorting – Implementing effective waste management practices to separate and sort materials generated during the milling process. This ensures that recyclable materials are properly identified and segregated from non-recyclable waste. 3. Recycling Infrastructure – Collaborating with recycling facilities or organizations that can process and recycle the materials generated in milling operations. Establishing partnerships with such entities ensures proper recycling and promotes the closed-loop recycling system. 4. Waste Reduction – Implementing waste reduction strategies such as optimizing cutting parameters to minimize material waste, utilizing efficient tooling to reduce scrap generation, and recycling or reusing byproducts or offcuts. 5. Material recovery processes, incorporating processes or technologies that enable the recovery of valuable materials from milling waste streams. This may include shredding, grinding, or melting techniques to extract useful components from waste materials for recycling purposes. Recyclability in the milling process contributes to the circular economy by reducing the need for virgin materials, conserving resources, and minimizing waste sent to landfills. It helps to promote sustainability and minimize the environmental impact associated with milling operations. Thank you for listening to this presentation, hope you enjoy learning about sustainability in milling process. For more information, you can visit all the website given in this reference. See you again.